Andalusian city will undoubtedly wow you with its beaches, coastline, and lovely old town. It's close to Seville and makes an excellent day excursion during your visit to Andalusia. You'll have a great time wandering about the city after parking in one of the city's underground car parks. So what are the top attractions in Cadiz? Where should you stay? Watch the video till the end because we've come up with the top 10 places to see and visit in Cadiz, Spain. Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let's get this party started. The Plaza de San Juan de Dios Begin your day in Cadiz with a visit to the Plaza de San Juan de Dios. Because of its closeness to the harbor, this 16th century plaza served as the city's center for a long time. On this plaza, you can see two gorgeous buildings, the Town Hall and the San Juan de Dios Church. The Plaza de San Juan de Dios, which is flanked by cafes and restaurants and is ornamented with water jets and fountains, is quite pleasant for walkers. The Roman Theater It was found by coincidence in 1980 and dates from the end of the 1st century BC. With a capacity of 20,000 people, it is both the oldest and biggest in Spain. The closeness of nearby structures now precludes additional excavations. Feel free to come, admission to the museum and theater is free. It's little, but you can even stroll through an underground passageway under the bleachers. Cadiz Cathedral Cadiz's most iconic landmark, with its golden dome, can be viewed from everywhere in the city when wandering about. Cadiz Cathedral, begun in 1722 and finished barely a century later, combines numerous architectural styles, including Baroque and Neoclassical. Locals dub the cathedral, in the historical center, Cathedral Nueva, in contrast to Cathedral Vieja. Cathedral Vieja is also known as Santa Maria Church, which was the old cathedral. Cadiz Market You should stroll the Cadiz Market after seeing the cathedral. Going to the market is a must and the best way to learn about local goods. The Plaza Libertad and its center market will then be reached. It's not as large as other markets in Andalusia, but it's certainly large enough to sample some fresh local items. The Tavira Tower Close to the market, take Alcala Galliano Street and then turn left on Sacramento Street to find the Tavira Tower, one of 126 towers in Cadiz. After the cathedral, it is one of the most visited buildings. The Camera Obscura, a chamber fitted with a series of optical lenses and mirrors in the tower's primary attraction. It enables you to observe the whole harbor of Cadiz in a spectacular panorama. San Sebastian Castle Your trip along the Campo del Sur will bring you immediately to the Paseo Fernando Quinones, the walkway leading to the castle. The San Sebastian Castle is situated on a tiny island connected to the city by this pier. According to mythology, this was the location of Kronos Temple in antiquity. The Venetians gave it the name San Sebastian to invoke his protection. The castle is well known for its appearance in the James Bond film, Die Another Day. La Caleta Beach La Caleta Beach is located between Cadiz's two castles and is ideal for swimming and cooling off. However, since it is tiny and situated in the historic district, it may be a little busy in the summer. Restaurants, bars, restrooms, and showers are all available. It's a monitored beach, and the two castles create a sea wall that keeps powerful waves at bay. Santa Catalina Castle This stronghold, located at the other end of La Caleta Beach, was part of the city's defense system. Following the devastation of Cadiz by Anglo-Dutch forces, the King of Spain decided to construct the stronghold to fortify one of the city's most vulnerable sites. This superstructure is star-shaped and has multiple defensive bastions. The parade route is bordered by several pavilions as well as a church dedicated to Santa Catalina. Genovis Park the entrance to Genovis Park, the city's biggest public garden, is around 100 meters from Santa Catalina Castle. This oceanfront park has floral species from throughout the world, as well as a number of modest monuments including the iconic children beneath an umbrella fountain. A little man-made cave and a lake, a waterfall, and a few ducks are also present. It's the perfect spot for a quick shade break. Cadiz Plaza de España the monument was erected to mark the 100th anniversary of the Spanish Constitution in 1912. Yes, you read it correctly, it was signed in Cadiz in 1812. This monument is significant. The bottom section depicts a semicircle and an empty presidential chair. 
Several silhouettes contain constitutional writings, while representations of horses on the flanks represent peace and conflict. That is all from today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming interesting videos.